here we had the other day was tremendous. Um, we've had some great crowds here this year in the games, but I can assure you we're looking forward to playing on Thursday, and then we're looking forward to playing again on Sunday and continue to play on through the tournament. We're not just finished for one game, we're looking forward to going as far as we can. Um, hopefully we'll have a lot of people come to our game, hopefully today we'll find out who we play, and uh, if we get a home game, we'd like to have the support that we had the other day. So enjoy the draw, come out on Thursday, go Retrievers, thanks. Yeah, what are your thoughts about going in as kind of an upstart type of program? I, mean, I think it's great for the program and uh, I'm just really excited to see what we can do and like get our name out there. Coach Karinji has talked about confidence and how this is a very confident team. Is that something you would agree with? Definitely. I mean, we've always been confident. Honestly, today I didn't really, I wasn't really, I didn't care really who we had to play. We know we're going to go out the same way we would any other game and just play hard. First year here, UMBC, an NCAA uh, tournament appearance. I mean, what, is, what has it been like for you this the last couple of days, this whirlwind, since winning the championship? Um, it's been obviously a new experience to me. Um, I've been on the lucky side with high school and club, and coming here, I expected to win, and we did, and it was great. And we started off like that. We thought we were going to win this year, and we went into it. And now this is coming up. It's all nice to see, but we got to get back to work, and I can't get, let it get to me too much. Um, obviously, just learned that you were going to play the Princeton Tigers in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, you know a lot about college soccer and the Ivy League teams. What can you tell us about Princeton? Well, Princeton's been on a roll uh, the month of October. They've won like eight consecutive games, I think, and they won the regular season Ivy League championship. Uh, so they're going to be a good team. They're a very good team at home, um, but I think it's a, it's a good draw for us. You know, they play a very similar style of soccer that we do, so it should be a wide open game. I'm very familiar with their coach. Uh, Jimmy Barlow, he's, uh, he's probably coached some of these kids at the ODP level back in Maryland when he was down here years ago, so uh, it should be a pretty exciting match. Kind of a compliment uh, from the committee that should the Retrievers advance past Princeton, they would play a 12 seed. Um, other, you know, Bucknell, they're, they're, could get matched up against a two seed in Maryland. So the committee obviously thought very highly of UMBC. Well, I thought that all along. I mean, I thought that they had a lot of respect for us. And I know we were uh, actually up for a home game. And, you know, I'm sure Princeton's facility um, is a great facility also. So the fact that where we are, I thought that the committee did a great job of placing us, unlike the last time we were in, where we had a great year. We had to play the number one seed. Uh, so, I mean, we can't ask for anything better as far as a draw, and, uh, you know, we just got to get by in the first match. Finally, do you expect this team to go up there with a pretty uh, carefree and loose attitude, or do you think you guys might be a little bit, bit nervous as, as they go into this kind of game? I think we're going to go up there more uh, with a business kind of attitude. I think we're going to go up there confident, and uh, where I, I thought in the past we may have uh, been a little more in awe of the whole situation with Duke. This year we're you know, a very confident team, and we just wanted to see who we we're going to play, and we're looking forward to playing now, and, and we're, looking, uh, we're, we're, we're looking to do some damage. Thank you.